I thought people would see me. They'd know my walk was sacred. They couldn't tell who I was. All they would recognize was a soul traveling in the wrong direction. I began to wonder about endings. I began to think about writers. I got to thinking that anyone who writes a book has to know when they're coming down to the end. And there must be something about reaching the end that would squeak a diamond out of a writer. So I went to the library. I selected a hundred books at random. I copied the final two pages of every book. The last chapter, the last paragraph, the final sentence but one, and then the final sentence. I found that when we come to the end of our stories, there's a tendency to have our characters moving either towards or away from lights. Literally, through green lights and into dark rooms holding a candle. And then I looked around at this world, this beautiful world. I was drunk with beauty. I felt like my eyes were full of those tiny diamonds I discovered at the ends of all of those books. I remembered something I'd once heard. When explorers arrived in the New World for the first time, they found it so wondrous and so beautiful that they fell to their knees and prayed because they thought they were witness to the results of a second day of creation. And then I began to rise. As calmly and freely as though I'd worn wings my entire life. It was so effortless. And the world was entirely mine. I think we stay alive because we know that at any moment something profound might happen. Just when you least expect it. Just what you least expect. Floating. Flying. Me. How can a baby live for just one day? <laughs>